I think they yeah. like it. I think they like it. That's pretty fun. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah. That feels good, doesn't it? That feels good. You don't get that doing a, a one hour drama. No, no, you, no. You don't no. have the audiences. You just have the camera. No, the, the crew uh, looks at us and goes, hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that originally, or did you just buy that from some vintage shop? And no, pay a I fortune? just kind of got it at a vintage shop. That's I would love to say I'm personal friends yeah. with Mick Jagger, but right. that's not the case. <laughs> or that you bought it when you were on tour. Those, that's a very good shirt. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll see if we can get you one. Yeah, that'd be great. I appreciate it. Um, How so are you, Alan? I, I'm good. It's nice good. to be. I think that uh, you were at the Golden Globes the other night, and we we kind of saw each other, but didn't say hi. Yeah, yeah, I was. You know, you see those stars at the Golden Globes, and uh, I was a fan first. So uh, to be in an environment where they're around, you kind of feel compelled. I mean, I feel like I know Kevin Costner. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love his movies, right? Right. And I don't. Yeah. Um, you don't know. But him. when you go up to them, you just kind of bombard them for a split second, like a zero diving out of the sun, you know. Yeah. I admire your work. I loved you in open range. This is my dad. Nice to meet you. And you kind of run away, and they go, oh, OK. Yeah, that's pretty fast. You should yeah. slow down a little bit before. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, 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 we, did you see me there? Did I see you there? I think we did. A little bit, yeah. I saw you there, and I started to say hello, but I didn't want to bombard no. Ellen as well. You could have done that. You could have said, <laughs> I'm going to see you soon. Um, and we, ho we also have stuff in common, because you're from Texas? I am. I'm from a town called uh, Belton, Texas. Yeehaw. Yeah, it's near Temple. It's near Temple? It's near Temple, in between Waco and Austin. Uh -huh. Well, I know what that is. That's, so how far from Austin is that? Uh, about an hour. Uh -huh. About an hour, about 45 minutes. Austin's great. Past. Yeah, and it's growing all the time. Yeah, Austin's um, great. I, I lived in Atlanta, Texas, and I don't know if that's... Uh... And it's funny, I didn't know where that was, but I checked on the map. Uh-huh. Um, you're just barely in Texas there in Atlanta. Yes, yeah, it's right on the, the tri-state border there. Yeah. And, uh, so but... if you're on the land from the law in Texas, you can jump the border pretty easy from Atlanta, I guess. Oh, many times I'd do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I was in trouble with the law most of the time that I was there. Well, that's another thing we have in common. Yeah, all right. And you also did uh, the same kind of work I did. You, you uh, were, a, but I didn't do door-to-door -door sales. You did door-to-door -door sales. Oh, many glamorous jobs, you know, before you're an actor. What'd you do? What'd you um, sell? I sold copiers. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Copiers, and um, it was How like exciting. selling. It was like selling a box of uh, Girl Scout cookies for a thousand dollars. Uh -huh. um, the, the job was kind of, I would compare it to the fifth ring of hell-ish. <laughs> um, you put a copier on a gurney and put it in the back of your car, and you go to different businesses, and you say, hi, I'm George Eads with, I was calling to see if the manager was in to check out his office equipment supply needs and check his satisfaction level. Uh-huh. And they say, you know, don't let the door hit you where God split you. Uh-huh. <laughs> You didn't get in? You, you think No, it, no, I, I wasn't a very good salesman. Really? You know, no, I couldn't sell lemonade if our stand was in an oasis in the middle of the desert. Really? Yeah, I would think I that just... people would buy stuff from you. Well, there seems to be, you know, if you have an agenda, like if we're out here talking at the end of it, I really want you to buy my product, you know? Right. Um, I always kind of felt like I was setting them up to go, will you buy it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that, because I sold vacuum cleaners. There's nothing harder than selling vacuum. Very glamorous. Yeah, oh, but not not door to door, but I would be in department stores, and I'd just try to get people into the department. You'd well, have to really be shopping for a vacuum cleaner to want one, yeah, you know? Yeah, and when you're, when you're selling something that they have, it's like going to someone's house and saying, hey, I've got a great new TV. Would you like to buy one? And their TV's on in the background. Right. <laughs> like, uh, no, yeah. this TV works pretty good. Yeah, I was trying to improve, you know, I would tell them, because they had vacuum cleaners with lights on the front, that's the one I was trying to sell them. Yeah, and, yeah. and I actually told somebody this one time, they said, why do I need a vacuum cleaner with a light on it? And I said, that's so you can vacuum at night and not wake up people by turning the lights on. <laughs> and, um, and I sold it, actually, I did. Uh, we have to take a commercial, I we'll be right back, that. right after this with more George Eats. From CSI, and, and we here at the show have uh, ooh fever, um, Super Bowl fever is what we've got. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we, it's, it wouldn't be called cooking. Is what you want to throw the ball to uh, Andy? Oh, I'd love to. Sorry. Right. Um, hey, that was a good throw. That was a good one. All right. All right, so this is something that you, th you think will be a good recipe for someone to enjoy during the Super Bowl? Well, yeah, I think so. It's quick and it's easy and it's, um, 
it's really not, it's not something you cook as much as you melt. Melt, well I can do that. So, so I'm gonna have to ask you to help me out and maybe cut the cheese. Cut the cheese. <laughs> All right. That was a cheap one. Yeah. That one was free, right? All right, and, and so I'm cutting it, and just does it matter how you cut it? it well, just... Velveeta cheese for some reason doesn't seem to melt as Look. a big block very well. Yeah, so it's tiny, tiny. <laughs> There's some already cut here. All right. I should have told you that, I guess, before I asked you. That's all right. I, I'm, I'm practicing. So it's Velveeta cheese. It's Velveeta cheese cut right. in little squares. Okay, that's that. And then you get tomatoes. Tomatoes. Rotel tomatoes. Very important that you what use Rotel. What kind of tomatoes? Rotel. 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 Everyone Rotel. say it together. Rotel tomatoes. Rotel. All They're right. going to be great at this. Rotel tomatoes. Yeah, and then uh, you put it in the microwave or cook it. But wait, don't you do something else first? Oh. Well, you do the, that meat, first? The, the, the hamburger meat's actually an added touch. Like if you have dignitaries or somebody really important coming over, mm -hmm. then you can get a lean hamburger meat. Lean, and you do that first or you put it in after? It's better to melt, melt it first. Melt this first and then you put this on get top. Get it nice and runny and then throw the meat in after okay. it's cooked and drained as and well. And how long do you microwave it for? Oh, uh, three minutes stir, two minutes stir, maybe one minute shimmy shimmy shake, something like that. All right, and then when it comes out, ooh, that's kind of hot. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Here, let me do it. Wow, that looks disgusting. Now, <laughs> that, that really, <laughs> Woo. yeah. This so is, what you want to do This is, is if you don't really want people to come back. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> hey. Woo. all right. Um, and you, it smells kind of disgusting as well. Isn't it great? Wow, and then that's with beer, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's, All right, um, it's all foam. I tap a kega. All right. So it's kind of good. You put um, your mugs in the freezer so wow, get them spicy. nice and cold. That's it's really the spicy. Um, wait, here, and wait, I have something for you. What's that? I'm only drinking this. Hey, that's real. Um, <laughs> um, wait a minute. We have, uh, hold on, we'll give it to you. We'll bring it back. <laughs> we got your little gift for your party. You put chips in here. And then, and you, then put, you put your put the dip. you put your disgusting meat dip yeah. in here. But we gave you a little uh, little helmet so you can have it for your party. Oh, All that's right? great. All right. Thank you. See you guys on Thursdays at nine o'clock on CBS. We'll be right back right after this.